Hey guys, Luke from TrueKit here. Today we're out at beautiful Green Hythe to demonstrate some electric motors on our boats. We've got the Discovery 330 and Navigator 3 meter out with us. So let's get started. So this demonstration is for all electric motors in general with our boats. Um, today we will be using the e-propulsion motors. So we've got the Eli and the Spirit 1.0. Uh, and we'll first go over some advantages and disadvantages with electric motors when compared to petrol outboards. So starting with some advantages, uh, they have huge benefits for the environment when compared to petrol outboards. Um, the low cost of running and servicing. There's no fuel or associated risk with fuel. They're extremely quiet in the water, whether that's a benefit for fishing or just general noise. There's no pull start, so if you have a bad shoulder or you just simply can't pull start, these are great for that. Lastly, there's also effortless changing between gears. Uh, you can go straight from reverse to um, forward and don't have to faff around with changing gears on the motor. And now for some disadvantages. So the initial cost of these outboards can be larger. Range anxiety due to battery life. Then there's longer recharge times to fill up the battery to full when compared to just simply refueling. The heavier battery weight can also be a prohibitive factor, especially when going to those larger electric outboards. So Tom's now going to demonstrate putting an e-light onto the Navigator 3 meter here. And you'll be able to see one huge advantage with these motors is that they're just so portable. As you can see here, it comes in a very small bag and it's extremely easy to put on the transom here. And just like that, as you can see, it's on and ready to go. So Tom's now going to be putting on the Spirit 1.0 Plus on the Discovery 330 here, and this is equivalent to 3 horsepower. I'll also now put on some key statistics between these motors so you can see the difference between the two. Once again, as you can see here, the motor comes in a very portable, manageable bag, as would all other electric brands. Now she's on and ready to go. So first up we'll do some speed comparisons between uh, both motors on the E-Lite first. Okay, I'm going to go full throttle on this straight here. And it's saying we're going about 7 kilometers an hour. For sure enough power to just get from your yacht down to shore. So it's now me and Tom in the boat and still reaching pretty much the exact same speed, seven kilometers an hour. Okay, now we've got the Spirit 1.0 Plus on the Navigator 3 meter. Let's do it. So instantly you can definitely tell it's got a lot more torque than the E-Lite did. Uh, we're achieving about nine kilometers an hour right now. Very smooth, very quiet, lovely ride. Turns really well. All right, now there's two people in here on the Navigator 3 meter with the Spirit 1.0 Plus and full throttle now. Still achieving pretty much the exact same results with one person. So the weight doesn't really affect it that much, going up to nine. Um, still feels really nice and smooth, good response. All right, now for the E-Lite on the Discovery 330. Okay, so we're going adverse current right now and I'm reaching about six kilometers an hour. Turn around. So going with the current, I am going about seven to eight kilometers an hour if I'm lucky. So I weigh about 70, 72 kilos. We've got the full package on here, so. So now there's two people here in the Discovery 330 in the shade of this beautiful Bimney. And we're going with the current right now, still reaching pretty much the exact same speeds. Seven, eight kilometers an hour. Nice, smooth, smooth ride. All right, now the Spirit 1.0 Plus on the Discovery 330. So right now we're going about nine kilometers an hour.
And again, we're flicking between eight and nine kilometers an hour. So what shaft is suitable for your true kit? So with our smaller boats like the Navigator 2.5 and 3 meter, we generally recommend an extra short shaft. But as soon as you go above that with the Discovery 330 or Discovery 4 meter, we recommend just the short shaft. Um, but one worthy note to mention is that these electric motors are measured differently than petrol outboards. So they're measured from the top of the transom bracket all the way down to the center of the prop. However, these are just general recommendations because these electric outboards don't really get up to planing speeds. The longer shafts don't really affect it too much. So you ultimately can run a long sha longer shaft on these. These are just our recommendations based on it. So why are true kit boats specifically good for electric motors? Firstly, they are lightweight and low drag, which means you get a lot more out of the charge. Um, the portability of both of them are incredible. Obviously, our boats pack up into a small bag. Electric motors are extremely popular for tender use, whether you're going shore to yacht, and then also just general adventures and exploring. So hopefully today we gave you a first-hand demonstration of what these electric motors can do with our amazing boats. Um, if you ever have any questions, just don't hesitate to reach out through our website. And yeah, have a good one.